Hey, so in this video, I'm going to give you a very quick overview about how to set up the GoProposal and Pixie Zapier integration. So first of all, you're going to need to make sure that you've got a Zapier account and that you've connected both GoProposal and Pixie to your Zapier workspace. Uh, in order to connect Pixie, all you need to do is go through the app, go to settings integrations and click on the Zapier integration there and that will prompt you to activate it and to set it up in Zapier. Once that's been done, you're gonna to need to come and build the Zap. And the very first thing that you want in your Zap is step number one uh, is a trigger. So you're gonna choose the app and event of this trigger as go proposal. And the trigger event here is gonna be that the proposal was one. So that's gonna, the moment somebody accepts this proposal and says, yep, yeah, I want to work with you, it's gonna trigger this Zap and everything that's coming after it. Um, once you've selected that, just make sure you choose your go proposal account that you've connected to Zapier. And then if you test the trigger, you should be able to pull through uh, a recent proposal that you've won. If you don't have any, then I would recommend just setting up a fake proposal and accepting that just so that you've got something to pull through here to test that everything's working. Once that's been done, we can go to step number two, which is going to be uh, with Pixie. Uh, so if you select Pixie from the apps here, and then the action event that we want to do is to create or update a client. Once you've selected that, select your Pixie account, which you should have already activated. If we then go to set up the action, um, this is where you can start to map across the data from uh, Go Proposal into the, uh, the Pixie field. So first of all, I'm pulling through the company name. If you're not sure how to get that piece of information, you just click into the text box and underneath where it says Proposal 1, you can see all of the bits of data that it's gonna let you pull in. So I wanna pull in the company name here into the client name field in Pixie. Um, client ID, leave this blank. Um, client manager, it will only let you select an option um, from inside the Pixie workspace. So please don't try to map anything from the, the actual proposal. Um, what I would recommend is just selecting one person as the default client manager. And then once they're in Pixie, you can reassign it to whoever else is gonna be the, the actual client manager. And then the same, uh, or rather similar for the client type. What I've done here is I've created a, a client type in Pixie and I've called it new client assigned type so that any clients that um, get added from new proposals, they get added in Pixie, this is their client type. I can then go into Pixie and update them as a limited company, a sole trader, wh whatever they might be. Um, again, don't try and map anything across from a Go proposal to this field here because it'll just um, it'll break this up. Then we've got some more data here. We've got uh, the email field. We've got uh, primary contact first name, primary contact last name, uh, uh, another email for the primary contact if it was slightly different, job title, mobile number, um, address data, anything that's on the proposal that you want to add into Pixie. Um, if there's anything that's custom, just make sure you've added it as a custom field in Pixie first. Once all of that's been done, if we click continue, uh, you should be able to test it. If you then log into your Pixie workspace, you should now see a client in there that's been created uh, with all of this information on. So then we can move on to step number three. Uh, and the app that you want to choose here is called Formatter by Zapier. So if you just type into your uh, to the search bar Formatter by Zapier here, uh, you should be able to find that. Uh, and then the action event that you want is text. If you then continue, the uh, transform function that you're gonna to need to use here is called split text. And basically what we need to do is take all of the line items from Go Proposal uh, that appear as one long string and break them up into uh, individual uh, services. So uh, split text is the option here. For the input, you want to select underneath Go Proposal. You want to find the line items option. It's here, I can, I've already got it selected in mine. And then, for the separator, just make sure that there's a comma in that box there. And then for segment index, just make sure that it's on all as line items and that's gonna break it off into individual uh, line items for each. Once you've done that, if we test it, you can see here that where I've tested it, uh, this is the output now. It's got four separate uh, line items for each of the services from Go Proposal. So then the fourth and final step here is adding a recurring task to the client record in Pixie. So if you, um, again, so select Pixie's the app, the action event is to add a recurring task to the client's record. Once you've selected that, select your Pixie account, click on to set up action. 
for the client field here, um, if you just click on uh, step number two where it says create update client in Pixie and um, you can select the client ID. And then for the template, what you want to put in here is uh, from step number three, the text uh, split text function, you want to put in these line items. So what this is essentially gonna do is uh, take the line items from Go Proposal and match them up to templates in Pixie. Now it's really, really important that, that in order for this to work, the wording of the line items in Go Proposal needs to exactly match the wording of the templates in Pixie. So for example, um, if I jump back a step here, you can see that the services that are pulling through from Go Proposal are annual accounts, corporation tax return, VAT returns, payroll for fixed salary employees, and a personal tax return submission. So in order to match those up with the correct templates in Pixie, you need to make sure that the templates in Pixie have these exact names. So for example, your VAT returns template in Pixie needs to be called VAT returns that looks exactly like that. Uh, not VAT monthly or VAT quarterly, it just needs to say uh, VAT returns. And then what will happen is Zapier will match up the service line from Go Proposal to the service name in Pixie. So providing those two names match, it will all work fine. Once you've done that, if you, um, you can then go to test it, retest the action. And by now, if you go into your Pixie workspace, you should see that you have a client and I'll just show you an example of the one I've just created here. Um, it was this Pixie Tech Limited, recurring tasks, and you can see here the names of these templates exactly match the names of the line items on Go Proposal, so it's, they, it's applied them perfectly. And that's everything, so it's really simple, four steps. Uh, the trigger is the proposal one in Go Proposal. The second step is to create the client and contact in Pixie. The third step is just to break out the line items from Go Proposal. And then the fourth step is to apply the recurring tasks and just make sure that the name of the templates in Pixie exactly matches the name of the services from Go Proposal and the two will match together perfectly. Um, if you've got any questions, yeah, feel free to reach out. Thanks.